that's gonna probably either clear this up right here or bring in something else. We never know. Best That's thing about this crazy vlog. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we are here at the new Goon Squad garage and today we're gonna continue working on our Factory 5 GTM supercar. And as you guys seen in the previous video, we finally completed the entire paint job on the sucker and it turned out absolutely flawless right here. This is just a work of art. I mean, just look at that dude. Not a speck of dust on it pretty much, dude. No buffing dude, required. It's clean man. man it's super clean dude exactly and what we want to do is actually just go ahead and complete this build pretty much and all we got to do is put it completely together which we have every little bit and piece that we need we're actually going to start with the rear end and then we're going to work our way up to the front because the front actually needs a little bit of framework there's a bunch of other little panels that we got to install so we want to save that for later because our frame machine is occupied right now, occupied, dude. Occupied, which parts, I believe we just got a tracking number, we right? Do, dude, they'll be in in a couple of days and that Porsche can finally start getting put together. So we really don't know if we want to go ahead and pop that Porsche off right now just to complete this build or maybe just get as much of this put together as possible and then wait for those parts maybe to Maybe do in. some framework on the ground, dude. dude do some two ratchet vehicles, straps. Man, the or... 67 Camaro <laughs> and the Tesla. That way, dude. We might have to figure something out. <laughs> I think we will. We always do. But anyways, I say we go ahead and pull this sucker out out into the lighting over there, bring in some tools and get this sucker put together. goodness man we just finished up this whole entire rear end right here and it looks absolutely insane but pops came through with some good old slavic treats dude some of that european meat dude <laughs> bread and then the dang barbecue sauce man mm. has have to throw it in dude. dude i know a lot of people haven't even got to try the barbecue sauce because we just released it like two days ago but once you get it you're gonna love it you dude. guys are gonna love it i mean this is not like your ordinary barbecue sauce it just tastes like a dude. dipping sauce for everything dude, dude. tons of flavor yes. as you guys know with our dang sauce tons of flavor this right here is a whole nother level what do you think Pop pops loves it mm. he very puts lovely. it on everything it's dude. very good very good but yeah. look at this rear end dude we put on that diffuser right there because the old one was broken we're not gonna have vents in it right look at this dude <laughs> i'm trying to finish it but yeah these are custom vents i don't know what they're for but they look pretty good but um factory five actually said that it'll lose its aerodynamics with something like this you know what i mean exactly yeah so that looks cool but that right there performs cool you know what i mean yeah, that it, definitely it, keeps it to the ground yeah, it keeps the air coming out like whenever they did like the you know they did that wind tunnel whatever and the air actually comes out perfectly this would probably cool the transmission down if it really needed to but there's so much vents on the back of this car that this is kind of unnecessary yeah exactly you know? and it has a functional roof scoop so that helps yeah. cool that which thus further cools Pushes the transmission the air. You know what I, mean, I mean you gotta you gotta little like ventilation right here i mean technically everywhere even 
inside the wheel wells. Oh and yeah, that's right. You got two high powered fans that he somebody installed in there. That's just on dude. the click of a button. Dude. Oh, amazing right there. But this whole entire rear end came together. Dude. We threw on this the spoiler right there, the wing, the, the tail the lights, trunk lid or the Ooh. the engine lid right there. Just this whole section just looks really dude. good now. It dude. looks super good, especially with that fresh new paint job. Everything just pops. It looks super slick. The next yep. thing that we're gonna do is probably like doors, right? Yeah, we're gonna move on to the doors. Those are gonna be the very hardest thing because those doors are kind of hard to align just by the way those brackets are designed so we're gonna try to be very careful that way we don't chip any paint dude Alrighty guys, so check this out. So we finally got these doors on and I gotta say, man, this car looks so much better with them on. Dude, dude. I'm telling you, it almost looks complete and I love how there's just like this pop in right there. You see that dude, vent that just like works? basically a whole big vent. I mean, this is even a vent it comes from here air here air there air out the back dude it's keeps crazy. it to the ground dude, dude. aerodynamic i mean it's crazy it looks super good with the mirrors and everything and they did take a good bit of time because we had to do a ton of aligning i mean this is a custom car with like custom brackets and a bunch of other custom stuff so we had to tape everything up make sure we didn't chip anything and uh there may have been one chip but we'll let you guys see if you guys see it or not not on this side but look at this dude it opens and uh we just got to install our door panels and it closes perfectly and man wow. this is amazing Dude, Man. I love that right there. And the interior, of course, got a nice quick clean. Dude. Using this stuff right here in a brush. Where did you get this stuff, dude? I just dude? found that on Amazon. I actually seen it online. I actually bought it to clean my Alcantara steering wheel because Alcantara gets like nasty after a yeah. while. And this stuff works great on that with the little brush. But dude, it works great on like wow. upholstery. Look at the dash, man. It looks dude. practically brand spanking new. The whole interior got hit with this stuff right Amazing here, Amazing stuff right there, dude. I gotta say. But anyways... Lie. Wait, would you say? Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. <laughs> of course, but you know what? That other side got that door on as well, fully adjusted, and that side was a little bit more tricky, right? Yeah, I mean, but everything works properly. We even went ahead and connected our windows and everything, so yes, everything sir. opens and closes. Look at this. Look at the glass, man. Look at that. Man, Dang. electronic windows. Dude, man. this is a custom-built door right here. I'm sure when you buy the kit, all you get is the shell, and you gotta build this metal uh, yeah, like you frame gotta weld or this, whatever. Yeah, you gotta weld all this stuff together, which 
which is crazy. Honestly, I would have never do this kit from the ground up. It would take way too long. This is something that you just uh, commit to like a couple years, you know, in yep. your garage. Definitely dude. right here. Let's show them how it closes as well. Nice and smooth. The gap all the way around is perfect. And let's see that chip nowhere to be found, dude. And we painted up our mirror. That's so right. Yep. Can't forget, we forgot to paint one mirror. We left it in the car when we taped it up, but we quickly sprayed that sucker in. But in the meantime, what we're going to jump onto while that mirror is drying is our windshield right here. So we're going to go ahead and probably slap this sucker in and uh, be done with it. Then we'll be done from the car here back, dude. Here back, honestly. and the rest is just going to be the front end, which that lip is going to look insane. Yes, sir. So I say we keep moving, Let's dude. Let's keep moving. Um, You want to go grab some windshield glue? Let's go do that let's grab some and run back here Alrighty guys, so check this out. This car is about 85% complete. And if you jump in over here to the interior, that sucker is 100% complete and it looks absolutely insane. We got the door panels on and it's been a minute since we've seen this car like this because as soon as we got it, of course we tore it completely apart. And now seeing it like this, like a race car looks absolutely just crazy. Can't wait to drive this dude, thing around, 100%. dude. 100%, it looks completely like a car inside with a little bit of race in it, you know what that I mean, dude? That is right, exactly. <laughs> and of course we detailed that interior and most most importantly, we slapped on this windshield right here and it fit perfectly, which is pretty crazy because this is a custom windshield, but no problem. Factory 5 knocked it out. And also we installed this mirror right here that we forgot to paint. Dude, everything is looking super clean. And up front here, look at dude, this lip, dude. Probably the best That's thing about this. Crazy. Oh my goodness, dude. dude. That definitely gave that car some look in the front, Exactly, dude. made it look even more aggressive up front here. And of course, threw some carbon over here just to have those accents all the way 
throughout. And that's pretty much the only thing that we really can do to this car until we pull the framework on this sucker. Because, yeah. or we can throw in like the headlights and this stuff, but we kind of want to leave that for later because there's a few things that we got to access before we actually just completely bolt everything together. Yeah, there, and right? we want to like paint those headlight buckets black right there because I yes, think sir. that'll look really good and a few other things. Exactly, you know? but you guys might have noticed a phone call here and there that's going to probably either clear this up right here or bring in something else. We never mm, know. Dude, dude, exciting stuff. Exciting dude. stuff. It's going to be super epic either way it goes, but that's just going to be a wrap for today's video, guys. We're super happy with the progress that we're making on this Factory 5 GTM. Can't wait to test it and do a price breakdown as well. But it's pretty crazy actually what we got into this thing. Very, very cheap. I, I, I just say I, cheap. Yeah, right? the, probably the cheapest sports supercar we got, dude. Cheapest supercar in the world right here. But thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Definitely be sure to turn on your post notifications. Drop your comments and thoughts down below. We'll catch you guys next time. Peace.